is High School Basketball on iTalk 1067, presented by Sholo Ford, produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with iTalk 1067 Radio. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Dealer Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. And now, Sholo Ford presents High School Basketball. Welcome to the Prescott Valley Event Center. And now, Finley Toyota, we're going to jump right into it. Here's our starting lineups for starting tonight's lineups game. For Tuba City Warriors and Sa Page Warriors Sand Devils. Of Tuba City. A sophomore guard, number five, Shyala Doogie. A junior guard, number 23, Larissa Yancey. Junior forward, 22, Jada G. Sophomore forward, 25, Talisha Atakai. And a sophomore guard, 35, Shaniel Notman. Head coach of the Warriors is Kim Williams. Her assistants, Ross Williams, Nicole Pesigeny, Tori Butler, Rachel McBride, and Sarah Atson. Taking them on the home team today, the second seed in this bracket, the Sand Devils of Page High School. Starting at guard, a senior, number five, Amy Yeoman. A senior guard, number 10, Michaela Benali. In the post, a sophomore, 14, Diana Saccoli. Point guard, senior number 20, Micah Talaman. And at forward, a junior, 23, Cameron Nakadine. The head coach of Page, Ryan Whitehorse. His so, assistants are Jenner David. There Thomas you have it, the starting lineups. We're in for a good one here, the Page Sand Devils and the Duba City Warriors. We see the girls lining up there on the court. That's an interesting way to gather up, huddle up. Looking forward to a great game here this afternoon. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wants to remind you that when it comes time um, to get your athlete back in the game, they have everything that, that you need, and that's going to be our injury report. We don't know who will be following injuries during this game. Ace Hardware has a 24-7 locksmith the next time you're locked out of your car. You just need a key replaced any hour of the day, any night of the week. Call Ace Hardware, your helpful place with three locations in Pine Top, Overgard, and Sholo. And all of our keys to the game. Tonight, it will be brought to you by Ace Hardware. What do you expect to see in this one, Punt? Well, again, two reservation teams, Tuba City and Page, they're like perennials to this, these playoffs, it seems like, both, yeah. both teams. Page is very disciplined, aggressive, aggressive defense. They run the floor really, really well. Tuba City is just going to have to play a high-intensity game. And, and be constant with that intensity if they're going to hang with Paige. Cuba City, they get the tip. Be interesting to see just the level of play, the difference between the... Uh, and there's a quick turnover again. Defensive pressure from Paige, just really intense. They play the ball tight. They move well. They have great help side defense. And uh, we'll, Tuba City will come out with some pressure here playing man-to-man -man as well. Talaman drives, shot nice up. runner. 
No good Great on the rebound. Runner. Nice follow by Sakodi. Southmore. To get the first bucket of the game. I'm going to welcome in all of our viewers. Where are you watching from? Make sure that you jot that down in the comments. We'd love to see where all you're tuned in from here for this Sand Devils Tuba City matchup. Again, there's that pressure, keeping the ball out on the perimeter. Nice penetration, Shot up however. And good. Number 23 for Tuba City, Larissa Yazi, nice runner into the paint to get the bucket. Shot on the way, three pointers up and no good. Rebound fought for. Rebounded by Tuba City. This is a, a seems this, this game has a little more intensity than the last game that we watched, Punt. Yeah, they're coming out quick. A quick three by Tuba City. Really just barely bouncing off the glass. So Paige will set up here, working the perimeter. Play, these two teams have played each other twice this season, both times. Uh, both times, Paige has beat Tuba City. Nice cut through the lane by number five, Yellowman, just not able to get the shot to drop, but a nice runner on that left side. Again, another turnover by Tuba City. Defensive pressure from Paige. I like this guard, Micah T Talaman. Since he's listed as 5'10 junior, but she actually looks taller than most of the girls on the floor. Nice drive, right hand side shot up, no good. Again, Paige attacking the basket well, just not able to get good clean shots. And another turnover by Tuba City, three empty possessions on their last three possessions. Not even able to get a shot off on the basket. Nice crossover. Shot up. Great, beautiful shot by Talaman. Runner. Tuba City defeated Kingman to get here. Page defeated Florence. Both of them were pretty handy wins. Pretty well, one handily, I should say. Tuba City, oh, looking for a cutter. And, and again, Sh another no, no shot possession by Tuba City. Shayla Jugi was expected to cut in on that one and did not. Bad pass. Looking for a floater inside, but really no player there. Tuba City with the turnover. Another turnover. Goes back to Page. Page 24 and four on the season, only four losses. Tuba City 17 and eight, and as we mentioned, two of their losses was to Page. A rare turnover for Page, but good defense by Tuba City, pressuring the ball out on the perimeter. And they're able to knock that ball loose, rolls off a Page player. So the score just four to two. Page, and page ahead, but Tuba City has really not had that many shots at the basket. Oh, yet. what a spin move, almost traveled. Yeah, it's a good spin move by 25. To get to the basket, Talisha Adekai, she'll go to the line to shoot her first free throws of the game, actually the first free throws of the game for both teams. Mount Mobile Auto Glass free throws up. Hard off the back of the rim. 
by Atakai. Second shot on the way is up and good by Atakai. Four to three is our score. Got a holding call off the ball. Yeah. Checking into the game for Tuba City is number three, Shepard. So far, it's been a pretty clean game. Nice drive to the basket by Benali, and then a great bounce pass into the post, but uh, it'll go off a window rock player. Great cut to the basket. Nice. Good inlet pass to wow. 23. That's Nakadinch. Nakadene, sorry. Dene. Dene. Nakadene. Back down the other way. A little left-handed leaner run in by Mexican is no good. Page Sand Devils with the ball. 3.09 to go in the first quarter. Page six, Tuba City three. Nice crossover again. Good Some runner. skills right there. Talaman with that crossover. Tries for the bank shot. Bounces off hard. Tuba City bringing it down. And number three. Micaiah Shepard looked like she was intending to pass and then uh, picked up the ball and stepped for the turnover. So you can really tell that number 20, Talman, kind of runs the floor here. And she's a senior. Let's spin into the inside. Good runner. Just ran out of room. Number 10, Benali. Went to lay it up. Great idea, just didn't have enough room to pull it off. She Good. Missed, missed the backboard and everything. Talman, it's the ball inbounds. Oh, Number three is Talman's sister. She's a freshman, or a relative as far as we know. So the turnover on the errant pass by Page. We'll see what Tuba City can set up here offensively. Tuba City is in a, a drought of somewhat. They only have three points. That could double the score right there, but that's off the mark. A lot of loose balls in this early in this game. Capping off the night tonight is going to be our Chin Lee and Sabino game. Sabino, the number one seeded team in the tournament, knocked off Paradise Honors, 54 to 20. Paradise Honors just didn't show up in that one. So we're excited to see what Sabino can do with Chin Lee. Quick timeout by the coach. We'll keep it here. Page Sand Devil Ball. Nice behind the back ball dribbling there by Talaman. The freshman. Up to the older Talaman. Three pointer on the way. Benali coming up short on that three pointer. We talked Tuba about the city quick to get the rebound. We talked about this the other day, punt. A lot of these three pointers coming up short. We don't know if the NBA three is kind of deceptive in that. Could be. Yeah, there's two marks on the floor you can see for those watching. 
the furthest out of course is the NBA because they have a D League. A D League, yeah. Northern, Northern Arizona Suns. But the high school ring is the next line in. It's the think, duct tape. Yeah. Oh, it's duct tape. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Well, anyway, basically. I, I think visually it is deceiving to players because of the coloring. Page, nice drive, little nice runner drive. up and no good. A good fight. steal underneath, just not able to gather it up before it goes out of bound. But yeah, Talaman, Micah Talaman, number 20, just doing an outstanding job. She's tall for a backcourt player. She is. Maybe that's what it is. She's very skilled in handling the ball. Tuba City, they've been stuck on this three mark for a while. Stubborn defense here by the Page Sand Devils. Double dribble call. Again, Page's defense, they're just relentless with their pressure. And they they play such good help side defense. It's just constant, constant pressure. Nice crossover by Talaman again, and a runner into the paint. Number 23 misses, but a follow-up un underneath. Cameron in, goes in for the layup, and misses, oh, and then Begay tries to follow. Oh, mostly. Carey, shot on the way, no good, 26 seconds to go. This is a very low-scoring game here so far. Uh, Long-scoring drought by both teams. Page definitely, though, having the advantage in terms of attacking the basket so far. They're just not able to get their shots to fall. It's a nice look up underneath, but no good. Knocked out of bounds. 6.3 seconds. That's what that looks like on your screen. They don't give us a decimal point on the screen, so. Watch that clock, clock go down. Three seconds, shot on the way. It's to be a big one if they make it, and it's no good. That's going to be the end of the first quarter of play. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Ace Hardware is certainly the place to get everything from hardware to tools, lumber to drywall, propane to wood pellets, and so much more. But did you know that Ace also has one of the White Mountain's best collections of artificial and silk flowers? Ace Hardware is the best place to find completed arrangements or get all your favorite individual items and make your own. If you're crafty, you'll love everything Ace Hardware has to redecorate your home or create unique one of a kind gifts in their complete craft section. Oh, and find an unlimited variety of herbal teas from the brand for tea's sake. Ace Hardware and Sholo, Pine Top, and Heber Overgaard. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire world. He just said, whenever you're ready, you can go up there and just tell her. Braces, he's stop in and see the friendly folks here. at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile. And we're back. Welcome back to the Finley Toyota Event Center here in Prescott Valley. Ron Everingham, courtside with Punk Cooley, bringing to you these quarterfinal games here for the girls. Tomorrow we'll have quarterfinal game for the boys. We're not sure which games we're going to cover at this point. But we'll be covering the rest of the games here today. Ooh, nice up and in there by Talaman. Those Talaman sisters know how to play hoops. That's a great job by her to break a long scoring drought. Quick back down the other way there. You see it off the hands of number 22. That's Jada Chi. Jada, the ball knocked out of bounds. going to turn it back over to the Page Sand Devils. And nothing going. 
Decent crowd in here this afternoon. Probably the biggest one I've seen since the Alchese games. Tuba City with the ball. Looking for something. They've had faced nice some stubborn runner. defense. There you go, a little lefty runner. Shot up and good. Again with a great drive to the bucket. That's the first basket in a long time for Tuba City. And yet, in the meantime, Paige really hasn't scored that many points either, so it's still a three-point game. So neither team able to do much offensively in this one. This came off of a game where the some decent scoring. Good hands by Talman to strip the ball. Even a better pass up front. Laid it over the shoulder of number five, Yellowman. Yellowman's fouled. <laughs> Fouls on number 12. To Rhea Mexican. Nice camera shot there. First Mount Mobile Autoglass free throws up and good. Second shot on the way is in. Our score is 10 to 5. Page over Tupa City here in the second quarter, 6.34 to go. Three pointer on the way. No good. Good rebound inside, 25 for Tuba City. Talisha Adekai, just great job. Fighting back up to get that bucket. Big three from the corner by Yellowman misses. Tuba City with the rebound. Three-pointer on the way by Tuba City is off the mark, no good. 10 to seven. 5.49 to go. Oh, great job by Benali cutting to the left and just taking it right down the lane, really undefended. Just comes off hard off the glass, but they'll call a foul. Tuba City on the loose, I'm sorry, on uh, Page on the loose ball. So it'll be Tuba City ball. Tuba City tries oh. to break the press and they get a turnover. Oh, and they still are right back. Great hands by Tuba City defensively. Page comes right back with their own steal. Back down the other way. Wow, another, another turnover. steal. <laughs> Pretty ugly punt. Yeah. Both teams really good at pressuring the ball, obviously, with all these turnovers. Shot missed. 10 to 7 is our score. Page weaving the ball across the top, looking for a cutting lane. A lot of outside play. There you go. You see somebody cutting in. Three pointer on the way, no good. From Benali. Quickly back down the other way. Pushed in the back is fouled on the plays. Number 35, Nodman. On charge, number three, Mikaela Talman, number first. 14 now to the line for Tuba City. 35, Shaquille Nodman, shoot two. Nodman will go to the line to shoot two. The Mountain Mobile Autoglass free throw is up. Off the back of the rim, no good. Again, a very low scoring game, 442 in the second. Page with a three point lead, 10 to seven. 
neither team really able to get much of an offense going, consistent offense. That shot's good. 10 to eight is our score. Tuba City only trails by two at this point. They fought back into this one. 4.30 to go here before halftime. Page will run a little motion offense out top of the key. Looking for cutters, nothing. Oh, step back threes up and good. Whoa, freshman. Beautiful stroke by Talaman. What a shot. That's a freshman. Yeah, Talibut. she's the freshman sister. Great player. We've seen a couple of really good freshmen. Gotta be careful here not to travel. <laughs> Always thought when you put that ball down, that is a travel, but I've seen it called sometimes, I've not seen it called others. It'll be to the city's ball on the possession arrow. Nice inbound pass, it's up and good. That shot was good by 23, Larissa Yazi. Page, they run this little weave offense out top of the, top of the key. Drive. Down left hand side of the lane, it's up and good by Yellowman. 15 to 10 is our score. With 3.12 to go here in the game. In the half, excuse me. Shot on the way, whoa, big shot by five. This, this Doogie, number five, huge shot. 13 to five, 15 at this point. Travel called on Taliban. So a good push by Tuba City here. We've seen them really struggle just trying to get shots off earlier in that first quarter. Now they make a couple of quick buckets, still playing great defense to bring the score within two. Good ball movement, great attack to the basket. Nice. Little runner, we nice haven't seen the layup. scored yet. Shanique Dez. Another Tied steal up. by Tuba. They'll miss the jumper. Let's see what Paige can do here on transition. Talaman attacking the basket right down the middle, but misses. Nice pump fake. Two to tie it, it's good. Pull up jump, pull up. So a little run here by Tuba City to put them back in this ball game. To actually go up by two does Tuba City. Page drives, sneaks oh, nice. in there, little footwork. Right. Flip shot. Anakai, she misses, but a great move just to get the ball to the basket. See if Tuba City can extend their lead now. Three pointer on the way. Short, no good. But gathered by her teammate. They're gonna get it up top, a minute 28 to go. Fans asking for some defense. Little runner is good, wow. That's a great runner. How about Tuba City? I thought she was passing the ball on that, but uh, nice soft touch to get the ball up and in. Nodman for two. Tuba City comes alive. Page, now they look like they're scrambling, throwing up shots. One minute to go. Tuba City with four point lead. Streaky. Could be some of these teams. Shot on the way. Three, it's good. Oh, coach isn't gonna call timeout. That's number 35, Nodman for three. Huge shot. Wow, what a turn of events here. From the Finley Toyota Event Center, Tuba City. Huge, huge run here. Oh, 
foul called on the play. Going to have some substitutions come into the game with 27 seconds. Page wants a three. Ah, well, nice Remy, bounce. good. Benali with the bounce off the back of the rim to get that three to drop. Tuba City with time, 11 seconds. They're up by four. Drive, right hand side. Pass off, looks oh, good. Another beautiful scoop shot by Nodman. Nodman for two. What? A momentum shift we had just witnessed. Tuba City 25, page 18. That's the end of the second quarter. Going into half, Tuba City with all the momentum in this one. We'll be back to break down the first half score in the Shoshillo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk 106.7 and italk 1067com I chose North Carolina College. But it's close to where I live. My instructor taught me how to build a foundation and framing, and to use different tools I haven't used. There's always new work everywhere. I want to get educated and start from the bottom and learn how to find myself, what I can do. NPC is transforming my life. I chose Northland Pioneer College because it's close to where I live. My instructor taught me how to build a foundation and framing and use different tools I haven't used. There's always new work everywhere. I want to get educated and start from the bottom and learn how to find myself and what I can do. NPC is transforming my life. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings, featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture, across from Walmart in Taylor. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 5, 3, 6, 5, 9, 7, 2, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, cash back to you. 5, 3, 6, 5, 9, 7, 2, I chose Northland Pioneer College because their prices were affordable. I've learned everything about the hair, skin, and nails. I've gained confidence in what I'm doing, so I'll be successful when I get out in the salon. This is an industry where I'll always have a job, and a job where I can express my creativity and make my own hours. I have transformed my life by coming to NPC.
Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries. And Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler yeah, Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile. I chose welding because there's always going to be a job and you can go so many different directions within it. The professors help me so much with getting my skill level up to where it needs to be and helping me progress in the ways that I want to. It teaches you really to be job ready, having a good attitude and still working hard. NBC has transformed my life by giving me a skill and a trade that I can take with me wherever I go. How long did it take you to drive down? A couple of hours. Really? A lot of traffic. Welcome back to the Finley Toyota Center. Page Sand Devils 18, Tuba City. Warriors 25. Uh, we have your scoring breakdown right here. Show the Ford's presentation of high school basketball. Uh, Punt, how did it break down? Well, we'll look at the leading Tuba City club with 25 points here in the first half. They're Biggest scorer in that first half is uh, Chenille Nodman. We saw her score five points towards the end of that second quarter, one being a three, nice three-point shot. She ends the first half with seven points, following her Larissa Yazi with six. And then the rest of the lineup, Talisha Adekai with three points. Jada Chi also with three. Taria Mexican with two. Shiala Doogie with three, and then Rainbow Willie coming off the bench with one point. And then on the Paige side, Paige coming into this contest, the number two seed, their leading scorer in that they had pretty decent distribution of scoring across a lot of players. Uh, Nikita Talaman, the freshman, leads uh, their club right now with a total of five points in that first half. Amy Yellowman following up with three points. Michaela Benali with three. And then Deanna Sakoti with two. Micah Talaman, the older sister, with two points. Cameron Noka Denny with two points. And I think that rounds out the total for Paige. A total, again, a total of 18 points, Paige. Tuba City with the lead with 25. So kind of a surprising lead there Tuba City up on top because that first quarter in particular very low scoring both yeah. teams Tuba City just really struggled to get anything going offensively but they made a great run in that second quarter obviously to put up uh, 25 points and walk into halftime with a nice nice seven point lead so that's gonna do it for our halftime breakdowns Sholo Ford's presentation we'll be right back with the third quarter Solo's board presentation of high school basketball on italk 106.7 and italk1067.com. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Uh, Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal.
a guy had to shovel Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Cholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. Ace Hardware is certainly the place to get everything from hardware to tools, lumber to drywall, propane to wood pellets, and so much more. But did you know that Ace also has one of the White Mountain's best collections of artificial and silk flowers? Ace Hardware is the best place to find completed arrangements or get all your favorite individual items and make your own. If you're crafty, you'll love everything Ace Hardware has to redecorate your home or create unique one-of-a-kind gifts in their complete craft section. Oh, and find an unlimited variety of herbal teas from the brand for tea's sake. Ace Hardware in Sholo, Pine Top, and Heber Overgard. Welcome back to the Finley Toyota Center in Prescott Valley, Arizona. The Tuba City Warriors and the Page Sand Devils both battling for a spot. In the final four, the winner of this game is going to take on a Winslow team. Winslow and Holbrook winners earlier this afternoon, both of their matchups. To get things kicked off, looks like it's going to be Sand Devil Ball. Right here in front of us. Sand Devils get it up top to Talman. Talman brings the ball down the floor. They do this uh, weave pretty consistently, looking for a cutter. Good job by Tuba City, stepping out in front to block the weave. Oh, errant pass though, tried to transition to their end of the floor. Got a little, just pushed the ball, got a little too much of a hurry. Otherwise a great defensive turnover. I did like that defensive play by to the city there, you saw number 23, Larissa Yazi, that kind of jumped out and hedged, hedged that, and that's what I think you can do against that that weave. Is force players to go the way you want them to go. But Tuba City gets the ball back. They've got the lead. We'll see if their momentum carries on into this. Oh, another lazy pass yeah. across the top. Page will intercept. Yellowman with the with the turnover or the steal. Page not able to convert on the shot inside. So Tuba City will bring it down. Nice bounce pass inside. Good defense by Page. Get arms up to block that shot. Shot on the way is no good. Rebounded by the Sand Devils. Cuba City coming out in man to man to start this third quarter. Talaman nice cut to finds the a cutter. Runner on the way is no good. Just could not get the shot to fall, but a good cut by Yellowman. Cuba City anticipating that weave and she cuts in off a quick cut right down the lane. So Tuba City with the ball and the lead. Drives. Left hand side, nice dish out to her three. Shot up, no good. Good shot from Tuba City, just can't get it to fall. So we'll see what Paige, what kind of luck they have on their end of the floor. Oh, nice cut back there. Great. She falls hard to the ground. Cameron Nokadene with a good cut, as you say, down that left lane. Really just taking the room the defense gives her. She'll get hammered at the shot. Really not even able to get off a clean shot. So That sends Nokadene to the line. First not mobile out of last free throws up and good. Three, 
Second shot, it's good. Ah, turnover, bad turnover actually. Nice lay in there by Benelli. To get the two, Caleb Big basket there for the Page Sand Devils. They want a timeout, we'll take it with them. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile. Welcome back to Prescott Valley. Here for the two, 3A girls quarterfinals. Tuba City on top by two over Page. Page on a little bit of a run. Love how the Tuba City guards dribble with their head up, eyes down the court. Sandell is also in man, pressure man defense. Three pointer on the way, a long three is no good. Good, good open shot again by Tuba City. Just can't get it to fall, doing a great job battling inside for rebounds. To keep the ball alive on their end of the floor. Tuba City spins. Shot on the way is good. That's 35, not with the shot. Let's see what Paige does here. They call play number four. Good old play number four. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Well, you got to lull the defense to sleep. I guess. You hit him inside. There it is. Here. Maybe you're right. They Talon in. Oh, great pass to find Talon and the freshman down low. Just not able to get the shot to fall. Good hustle by Tuba. Keep the ball on there. Wow, what a strong, strong, strong finish by Talisha Adekai. Adekai with a strong move to the bucket. Love how she used her off arm to guard from a possible shot block. 328 to go. Tuba City being pretty stubborn here, keeping Paige away. Oh, good man one. I think they're gonna score that. And we're gonna get watch the that replay. Foul. Yep, you're gonna get the bucket on that. Benali with a great move inside to get not just the shot off, but she'll draw the foul and go to the line here. Check it out of the game for two cities, number five, Doogie. Three point play, what a conversion there by Benali. And those are the kind of plays that two, uh, two bis, or Page needs to get back into this one. Travel call. And Jada Chi looks up in amazement, thinking that she didn't travel. I don't think many players ever do think that they travel. But three minutes to go here in this third quarter. 28 to 25. Foul called. Foul's gonna be on number 25. It's Talisha Adekai. Tuba City with a three-point lead. Oh, got an offensive foul. Yeah, they're gonna call Benali 
she, she got hung up. I don't know if she knew what she was doing on that play. But they're going to call her for elbowing the defender, trying to get into the key. Tuba City with a quick transition down, trying to beat Paige down the floor, but Paige recovers defensively. So Tuba City with the runner on that left side, off the glass, hard. Here comes Paige. They're gonna set it up top, and two minutes and 30, 25 seconds. Page with an opportunity here to tie it up with a three. Oh, nice move Drive on the bucket. Good. Good. That's a freshman, folks. Beautiful play. She's lean, long, very smooth inside. Tuba City with the ball with two minutes. Nice little spin move. No go, so she's going to diss it out up top. Nice. Oh, Another. bad pass. Oh! <laughs> good, good recovery, Chenille Nodman, to get the ball back for Tuba City on that bad pass. Able to get the shot up, but she'll be fouled from behind. She's fouled by Talaman. Micah Talaman, who tried to block the shot from behind, almost looked like she got it. But uh, that first Mount Mobile Autoglass free throw is good. Second shot on the way is off the front of the rim. Missed, rebounded by the Sand Devils. Sand Devils trail by two. Oh, there has uh, looked like a little miscommunication there by Yellowman and Talaman. So that takes gives the ball back to Tuba City. Tuba City with a two-point lead. They've had the lead for most of this quarter after taking lead late in the second quarter. <laughs> Stepped out of bounds. <laughs> Talman brings the ball up the floor, passes it over to Nekadenis. Nekadenis. Talaman drives. Shot on the way from the elbows. No good, but right into the hands of Talaman for two. That ties it up. Finally, Paige get back, gets back into this one. Tied up. 48 seconds to go. We'll see how Tuba City responds. Would like to see a three here. Backing into the paint, number 22, Jada Cheese. What a play. Nice aggressive offensive move in the paint to get it bucket. Turn around, bucket inside. So with 13 seconds, three pointer on the way. It looks like it could be good, but it was very long. Eight that. seconds to see if Tuba can get a last shot off here. Yeah. That shot for the Page Sand Devils is way too soon, giving uh, Tuba City an opportunity, which they don't take an advantage of because they travel. So now the ball back in the hands of Page with a chance to tie it up here with 2.5. Shot on the way is blocked. Oh, oh no, no, wow. no, no, he's going to call a foul. 
see the replay on this one, see if she well, got any of her hands. There's definitely contact on the ball, but the referee following the play. He's following the play. He didn't really have good position on that call. He's going to call the contact on the shot. Yeah, there's definitely contact. Great call, like I said, by the referee. <laughs> following. <laughs> Anyway, this is huge for Paige if they can convert, and they do. Wow, chance to take the lead. That's a that's a freebie there. Ah. Three buck or one point at least to finish the quarter. She hits two of the three Mount Mobile Auto Glass free throws, and that ends the third quarter. We're going into our fourth and final quarter. Page 31, Tuba City 31. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. And Welcome back to Finley Toyota Center here in Prescott Valley, Arizona. We're in for a good fourth quarter. What do you expect to see here, Punt? <laughs> well, you know, with just 31 points by both teams, it's kind of surprising to me a little bit. Um, Tuba City's playing great defense. Offensively, they're gaining some confidence by working inside a little bit more. So I will look for Tuba to attack the basket like they have been. Paige, we know, will want to do that. I think the key for Paige is to get some of their bigger players involved more. Surprisingly, they've not been able to get in underneath the basket as much as I thought they'd be able to. We'll see how it pans out here as we start our Northland Pioneer College kickoff to the fourth quarter. Northland Pioneer College wants to remind you that when it comes time to kick off your college education, choose the college with the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona. That's Northland Pioneer College. 31-31. So Ooh, nice. A little hard off the backboard there by Talibin. Well, With, that's that's the kind of that's the shot they I was want, right? talking about yeah. is at least they're attacking the basket. That shot, of course, coming off off hard off the glass. But uh, in that third quarter, at least, Page seemed to be really tentative the sand, offensively. Sand Devils want to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their it, newly expanded showroom, they offer play the game. furniture for every room There's in your home, yet including the best home furnishings, are they? featuring solid wood construction oh, and a lifetime warranty. Point. And customized orders are available points. to fit your individual what, size, what you color, have? and style. Plus, 30. get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture across from Walmart in Taylor. I got this. Don't take time out of your busy day. Let Mountain Mobile Auto Glass come to you. All our technicians are certified by the National Auto Glass Safety Council. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass will give you $50 cash, free movie passes, and free dinner. 536-5972, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, cash back to you. Welcome back to Prescott Valley here in the 3A quarterfinals for the girls. This is coming down to the end. This is the fourth quarter, 31-31 with 7.25 to go. Sand Devils wanted a quick timeout to talk something over. Well, they're amping up their defensive pressure as we can see on that inbounds play. 
I mean, they always put pressure on the ball, but now they're definitely increasing ball pressure, trying to get the turnover from Tuba City, which they are su successful in doing. Page gets the ball back. Drive, oh. Nice, nice. play by 23 for Page. Fokadene with a good fake and then a quick move to the basket, just not able to get a clean shot off. She misses a shot and then gets called for the over the back as she follows her shot. Tuba City with the ball, tie game. See where it breaks here. 6.43, they get it inside, back outside. That's what you'd like to see, inside, outside. Back over to this nice side. Nice spin, spin move, move, layup. Beautiful oh, you gotta move. hit those, punt. You yeah, that's a great move by Atakai. Just could not get the ball to fall, but otherwise an outstanding move in the paint. So much work for nothing. So we'll see what Paige can do. Paige really offensively all game kind of flat, surprisingly. Not able to get much momentum going at any juncture in this game. Three-pointer on the way is no good. Rebounded by Tuba City. Tuba City with the ball, six minutes. 31-31 is our score. There's the pressure, good help side on the move to the baseline. Great move by Nodman. She'll draw the foul. I think they. Oh no, they called her for the foul. They called Nodman for the personal foul, the charge foul. So Paige will bring the ball down. Five forty-six, tie game. It's a stalemate. Who's going to step up here? for either of these teams to make nice something happen. Nice pick and roll. Nice yes. roll by, by Nakadini to get to the basket. An even better pass from Talaman to find her cutting the lane. I like that play a lot. To go up by two to Page. Tuba City, see if they can answer. Yeah, good, good job by Page on the help side. It was a good crossover by Atikai to try to get to the baseline, but that help side defense forced her to travel with the ball. Coach wants a timeout. We'll take it with him. This is Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries. And Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Welcome back, 5.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Page up by two over Tuba City. But Page has the ball, Tuba City goes into a full court. They have kind of a fake press. I guess just a little, show a little pressure up top, but they really haven't pressed this whole game. Page runs a play, lay up on the left hand side. There's that offensive nice rebound. By Nukadene to get the rebound. You can see her in great position there. She'll draw the foul. Go to the line. She's two for two from the line in this game this afternoon. First shot, three. Up and good. Nice stroke. Second Mountain Mobile Autoglass free throws up and good. 
Oh, great move inside. A big rebound. Doogie, Shiala Doogie with the rebound. She'll go to the line. Mount Mulata glass free throw down on this end. That's Sorry, up and good. Dugai is her last name. She'll make the first of two. Second shot on the way is in and out, no good. 35-32. Page up by three with the ball. Oh, nice. Step Stutter step. Just too passive going to the basket. Otherwise, she had an open lane. See what Tuba City does here with a lot oh, of pressure. Great steal. Up there. Steps out in front of the lane to cut it off and grab the turnover. Talaman to the hoop. Oh, in and out. <laughs> out no good. But a good rebound underneath by Page to keep it alive on their end of the floor. So they'll just go into a patient weave here looking for a cutting lane. Four minutes, 35-32. Nice crossover. Nice patience here shown by Paige. And they work it all the way down to 345 and then drive the bucket and get fouled. Well, when you have the lead, you can afford to play with that level of patience. Tuba City is doing a good job defensively. They try to go for the turnover there and end up fouling. Benali, she go the line here. Misses the first of two. <laughs> Missed the second one as well. Those are big misses. We'll see how Tuba City responds. And Tuba City will call a timeout. Well, time out. Somebody thought they might have traveled, but uh, they retained possession with 3.36 to go. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk 106.7 and italk1067.com. You've been there waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the Still latest in orthodontics technology, the and they work with each patient yeah, individually to custom tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile and love your... Welcome back to Finley Toyota, Prescott Valley, Arizona. Page 35, Tuba City 32. Tuba City with the ball. An opportunity here to tie it or be down by one with a bucket. So they set up their offense here. A little iso nice play. I like that back cut right there. That's a design play by Coach. She took the timeout. Actually, a very good timeout with. 3.30 left in the game to get her offense set. They need to be able to convert here down by three points. Just a well-designed play with that backdoor cut. First shot on the way was good by Larissa Yazzie. Yazzie with a chance to, to hit that. I'm surprised she didn't hit that layup. Well, she needless to foul. say, these are huge free throws Big. for Tuba City. Both good. Mount Mobile Autoglass free throws good. Tuba City down by one. Page with the ball. It's 
game's gone back and forth most of the afternoon. Tuba City putting up a good battle. Tuba City hasn't been able to beat Page this season yet. They've played them twice. They come in as the number seven seed. Page the number two seed. Oh, nice pass inside. Oh, they get the turnover. Or the rebound, I should say. Page just not able to finish on that nice pass inside underneath the basket. So we'll see what Tuba can do here. They're down by one. Two-pointer on the way. Oh, huge shot right there. Tyria Mexican with the big jumper to put Tuba City out on top by one point. And then a quick bucket. Benali comes back on the other side for Page. Big basket there. Oh, good defense. Good defense by number five, Yellowman. Unfortunately, the referee is going to call her for putting her hand, her free hand, on the player as with the opposite hand, she's cutting off the passing lane. Free throws up and good. That ties it. That's big. Oh, a big free throw there by Mexican. Teria Mexican to drop those two. Put Tuba back up by one. Got just over two minutes left in this contest. Page runs that weave that they've been running all game. Look inside, oh, nice steal. Trying to force the pass inside, just too many defenders. What a steal by Chi. So Tuba City up by one with the ball, 150. Nobody needs to get too desperate here. Page is coming close to fouling, but getting pretty physical. Tuba City. Surprisingly, Page kind of sloughing off with their defensive pressure here. We're down to 130 now in this game with Tuba up by one. They're going to call the foul on Tuba City, Yellowman. Was Amy a, Yellowman, you'll see her cut off the player here and reach in. Yeah, if she just would have kept her hands up and shuffled her feet, she definitely could have just funneled her out of bounds. But, but what I don't understand it was, is we've seen Paige in this contest early in the game and then also early to start the second half where they come off with really, really hard, tight pressure and they're just not doing that right now. I don't know if it's because of fatigue or... Big, big miss right there by Tuba City. So Paige has got the ball with a minute 18. They trail by one. They need to be smart oh. here. Wow. Good timeout by Coach. Timeout, I don't know, did they have possession though? Well, they're calling it <laughs> possession because he could see that turnover coming. He jumps quickly, you can yeah, see Yeah, she him. did have possession, she had possession of it. So that's That was good close call. to being a turnover though, that was a horrible pass. That's a good call by the coach, and the, I mean the ref actually. So we'll keep it here and talk a little bit about it with a minute 12 to go. What do you think coach has drawn up over there? Yeah, he, well, you can see him being pretty animated, the page coach with his players. I think he, he senses his players just not bringing their level up. You know, it's their intensity. They're being outplayed right now by Tuba City. Yeah. And we've seen this team in this game, to, uh, Page I'm talking about, they can amp up their defense and they can be more aggressive. And I think that's what he's asking for from his players right now. This is when you got to dig deep. Even if you don't have anything left, you got to find it. Page with the ball. They trail by one. Minute 11. Nice pass underneath. Oh, shot just short. Wow. What a big miss. Tuba City. Turnover. Turnover. She gets another shot. In and out. No good. And she gets a rebound. 55 seconds. She's fouled. Oh, she travels. Oh, they're going to call her for a travel. What a call. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. 
Part of the problem when you get into situations like this, you know, there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of intensity and players tend to rush themselves a little bit. And I think that's what happened here with Paige. They were just rushing shots. I didn't see that travel. I didn't either. We're just going to look She's at it. She's making a move a to the basket. A few different uh, angles here as uh, we have a four camera replay system. And I just don't see that other uh, foot coming down. There was contact before she could. So maybe a questionable call here as we got all of the angles here covered on this replay. Yeah, she, and she had contact all over the place before she was able to get that foot down. So there you have it, wow. Well, that's a big call. 54 seconds to go, and we're gonna come back out of this timeout. And uh, Tuba City's gonna have the ball, as we see here. What's going on with uh, number 32, uh, Shamika Nez. Shamika Nez, not feeling good. Talk about laying it all out on the floor. Looks like we have some players exhausted. Well, you know, Paige uh, has done some substituting, but not probably as much as Tuba. So from that perspective, you got to think that Tuba City is probably a little bit fresher. But like you say, Ron, man, this of all the times to stand up and get it done, this is it right here. This is it. You don't want to think about how tired you are. Winner advances, loser goes home. 54 seconds, Tuba City with a one-point lead. They take the ball out of bounds underneath. Good defense, Pages. good defense. Five second call. That's a huge, huge turnover. No doubt the coach would have had to be talking about if they had timeouts to take one. And I don't know why someone didn't call a timeout at least. Well, in, in the, maybe even the coach. Like the coach wasn't calling for a timeout to my knowledge. And so, wow, that's a huge Because you can see turnover. that coming. That was great defense by Paige. And we talked about that. When these, when Paige decides to amp it up, they're probably one of the better teams when it comes to defensively really pressuring the ball. And they showed it there on that play. That's a big turnover punt. As you know, they now they're gonna get the ball out of underneath their own basket. There we see a great shot of, of uh, Coach Whitehorse drawing up the play. And on the other side there we see Coach Williams well, and they've been struggling, has Paige, in my opinion, just offensively all game. Uh, they've been getting good shots. They just can't get anything to fall. So I'm sure one of the things he's telling them right now is don't worry about put, you know, the last thing to do is put pressure on yourself. Just execute. Execute the play. Try to get a good clean shot inside. What a game. The number two seeded Paige. Sand Devils, the number seven seeded Tuba City Warriors. Paige with a chance to go up right here. They get it in bounds. Nice, Big play inside. Foul yeah. call. They're going to call a foul. That's a referee from the opposite side. Hey. They'll call contact. There is definitely contact on that play, as you can see in the replay. I That's say a good the, call right across the arm. There. Even if it wasn't. The basketball gods owed him one because of that travel call earlier. So. Well, the key here, though, is what happens with these free throws, of course. Oh, nothing but net. That's big right there. You can't, you can't tell me that there's not pressure. Knock anybody it standing at the line at this stage in the game. Knock it in A, the junior. Second shot on the way to go up nice. by one. Oh, wow, that's ice in her veins to go up by one right there. 50 seconds here, to the City back down the other way. Shot up, foul They're call. Stop the ball, to, uh, Paige not doing a very good job. Of stopping the ball, just letting Paige run the floor. Nobody steps in front of her. Taria Mexican is the one that takes it the entire length and she'll go to the line now. She just finished her last trip at the free throw stripe going two for two. So we'll see what she does here. First Mount Mobile Autoglass. This is the first. No good. That's big. She needs this one to tie it. What kind of pressure are you talking about here? The shot is up. In and out, no good. They trail by one. Page with the ball and the lead. 40 seconds. 
Call a timeout, coach. 40 seconds, 36. Call a timeout. Or a foul, maybe? What are they going to do? They're trying to get a steal. They're going to foul. I can't eventually. believe Tuba City is not fouling the ball or calling a timeout or something. Here comes a foul right I here. I guess they can't call the timeout, but now there's the foul. That's a lot of time off the clock. Just a lot of time, but 18.6 seconds, still plenty of time if they should get it back. You know, what's bigger, and we saw this happen, I think, in the game before, is the box out, exactly what Coach is talking about right there. You know, Tuba City has to box out hard and go to the ball, attack this rebound, because they cannot afford to let Page get an offensive rebound. Shot is up and good. So this last string of free throws, first by uh, Nokadene, she knocks down two, and now Talaman with that first. And we'll see what she does with her second here. Those Go are huge, huge free throws. Threes. For a freshman, nonetheless, Paige, up by three, two to City, needs to get a quick buckets. Bucket on the nice way, it's up and good. They need to call a timeout, and they do, 11 seconds. Tuba City 40, page 41, we'll take it with them. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 wow. years? Want to buy a cow. vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on well, your new Ford we, car, we truck, gotta, van, or SUV? I'm just going to do the, Go I got the straight line play of the game. Either Anyone one of these can two. say they'll give you a great we'll deal. Whoever. But Guy Hatchet, show Ford I kind of like this one because it was a, she answered this one. Remember right the in the row? play. The best. Yeah, for show the play of the game. On the east end of the deuce. Glass man, I don't know. I saw. Ace Hardware is certainly the place to get everything from hardware to tools, lumber to drywall, propane to wood pellets, and so much more. But did you know that Ace also has she one of the White Mountain's best collections of artificial and soap flowers? Ace Hardware is the best place to find completed arrangements or get all your favorite individual items and make your own. If you're crafty, you'll love everything Ace Hardware has to redecorate your home or create unique one-of-a-kind gifts in their complete craft section. Oh, and find an unlimited variety of herbal teas from the brand for tea's sake. Ace Hardware in Sholo, Pine Top, and Heber Overgaard. Welcome back to Finley Toyota. Center here in Prescott. Valley, the winner of this game is going to move on to play the Winslow Bulldogs in the final four. So that sets up the stage right here. The number two page, Sand Devils, taking on the number seven, Tuba City Warriors. Tuba City has not, has not beaten Page this season yet. They've lost to them twice, giving them a heck of a run right here, though. And all Page has to do is check the ball and hit their free throws, and they should be okay. 11.6 seconds. Page goes deep, almost turned over, but not. Here comes a foul, quick. 8.8 .8 seconds on the clock. It's gonna send number 20, Micah Talaman to the line. Just. Micah, she's uh, one for two from the line in this contest tonight. By the way, so we'll see what she does here. All free throws are huge at this juncture in the game. 66% on the season. She hits the first of two to put Paige up by two points. And even if she makes this, Tuba City is going to have a chance to tie it. Shots up and good. Big free throws by Paige. Those last few trips to the Tuba line. Tuba City, deep. Oh, ball. good knock Took away around. by Tom. They need a three, six seconds. They got a two, it's up and good. Not gonna be enough time though. They don't have any more Where's time the out. Pressure? They must be out of timeouts. Not enough time, and they needed a three. That's a huge mistake. Huge mistake by the Tuba City girls to not kick that one out and try to shoot a three. Wow, unfortunate. Well, after the basket, they all turned and walked down the floor. You've got to turn around and put pressure on the ball after making that basket. But uh, nevertheless, a, a big win by Page. I'm sure they're going to feel big time like they dodged a huge Sigh bullet. Of relief, huge yes. bullet. Tuba showed up big time. A slow start for Tuba City, but boy, did they finish strong. Page 
yeah, is going to move on to play the Winslow Bulldogs in the final four. Big one. All right, well, let's get to some uh, housekeeping here. We're going to first talk about our Beeler Orthodontics Live to Smile, Love Your Smile straight line play of the game. And I'm going to give that to number 10, uh, Benali, Michaela Benali, who, if you'll remember, in the fourth quarter, she ended up answering a call for two points right after number 21 of the Tuba City uh, team hit a, hit a two to go up by one. She comes down with a quick answer to go back to regain the lead 37 to 36. And so uh, we've got number 10, Michaela Benali as our Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game. Live the smile, love your smile. That's Beeler Orthodontics on to our Deemer's Glass, glass man of the game. If you need glass for your home or business, Deemer's Glass in Lakeside is hands down the best place um, to, to call quality glass at affordable prices. Call Deemer's Glass, call 1-888-GLASSMAN. And we're gonna go ahead and go with uh, number 23 of the Page Sand Devils uh, for our glass man of the game. That was uh, Cameron Nakadene. She did a great job on the glass today. So that's our Deemer's Glass glass man of the game. Now onto our Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game. Um, for the best selection, hiking, hunting, fishing, camping gear on the mountain, go to Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store south of Pine Top on Highway 260. What do you think, Pun? Well, this is going to be tough. I, you know, Paige, I don't think, would say they played their best offensive game today. Uh, defensively, they're always pretty strong. They had their moments where they let Tuba City get on a couple of critical runs, but one player I thought that was very consistent throughout and um, – and she's actually the youngest player on the floor. Number yes. three, Makita Talaman, Talaman for uh, Paige, just a freshman. She scores nine points, which certainly contributed to the victory for Paige tonight. But her all around, just uh, really consistent. Otherwise, played really smart uh, defensively and helping, helping out her teammates and playing solid defense herself. Got a couple of key turnovers when it mattered. And then of course, iced the game with those last couple of free throws that she had, made them both and uh, just built the lead. So uh, the freshman for, from Paige, Makita Tallam and number three will be our player of the game. Congratulations, uh, that's a Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game for the best selection of hiking, hunting, fishing, camping gear on the mountain. Go to Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store south of Pine Top on Highway 260. She's gonna be something to watch um, as she furthers her career over there just being a freshman, so congratulations. That's gonna do it for us, for all our whole entire broadcast crew uh, here on site and in the truck. And for Ron Everingham, Punt Cooley, Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball. Stay tuned, we've got one more game for you tonight on the nightcap. Uh, this has been Sholo Ford's presentation. High school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. This has been an iTalk 1067 sports exclusive presented by Sholo Ford. High school basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda's. Sport. Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. This is a copyrighted broadcast. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or reuse of this program without the expressed written consent of ITALK 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves is expressly prohibited. For more information about this game and others around the region, go to ITALK1067.com.